Yes, in the previous class, uh, just completed uh, uh, packaging helix of DNA, and uh, today you are going to study the search for genetic material. Search for genetic material. Till the end of the 19th century, there is no proper idea regarding the uh, Mendelian inheritance. What Mendel said? Mendel said that something factor or character that are transmit from one generation to the another generation. Now, but what is that factor? What is that uh, trait was not properly understood. When a chromosome study of cell studied and we got more and more information regarding the what uh, this uh, cell, the nucleus and the nuclear material and later it is come to know that chromosomes are the hereditary vehicle and which containing the hereditary material and later it is come to know that that hereditary material is nothing and it is what? DNA DNA and now that this DNA is called as genes or it is also called as genetic material so that is why DNA as a genetic material so DNA itself is called as a gene in the length of the chromosome here all the gene or DNA may not inherit. In the previous class you studied the euchromatin and the heterochromatin, that idea you already have. Euchromatin is a genetically active part, heterochromatin is genetically inactive part. Genetically active part that can carry the what the information, genetic information from one generation to another generation and so that will, will continue for the next generation, next generation like that. But uh, as far as concerned to this uh, topic, search for genetic material, many scientists come forward and put forward their own concept regarding the DNA as a genetic material or search for a genetic material. In 1928, in 1928, one of the eminent scientists, Frederick Griffith, Frederick Griffith, who first time attempted search for a genetic material which is genetic material because is the genetic material is what DNA is the genetic material is RNA or it may be a protein or may be a carbohydrate or any because cell means it containing different type of component different type of component cell contain now means in which which act as a genetic material which having a transforming principle and later on so this is uh, called as a transforming principle now they can transform on the character which having a transforming principle understood so that all studied by Griffith Frederick Griffith and for that he carried one experiment demonstration and that uh, gives an uh, what idea for search for the genetic material and genetic material may be the DNA. Genetic material may be the DNA and that gives a little bit idea how here what Frederick Griffith in his experiment he used streptococcus pneumonia. Streptococcus pneumonia is bacteria, streptococcus pneumonia bacteria and this bacteria is a pathogen actually cause pneumonia. His experimental material is what? Streptococcus pneumonia bacteria and this streptococcus pneumonia bacteria is experimental material for search for the genetic material and he grown this is streptococcus in a culture plate, streptococcus pneumonia in a culture plate. As once again, I am reminding you, streptococcus and pneumonia cause disease and pneumonia, pneumonia disease per se. And this is streptococcus pneumonia cultured in a culture plate, and in which some of them are having a smooth colony, and 
and some of them have a rough quality. The smooth quality are called smooth quality are called yes strain, yes strain, and rough quality are called R strain. Remember, when he grown the what streptococcus pneumoniae in the culture plate, and some of them have a smooth colonies, smooth colony and they have a, for example, this is a bacteria and they have a very smooth external coat. Smooth external coat like this. Like this. And these are called the smooth colonies. And some of them have grown and they have but here a rough colony. So rough surface. They have a rough surface. And later also come to know that this is a smooth colony smooth colony that produce what the disease smooth colony produce disease and are called as virulent smooth colony bacteria cause disease what pneumonia because what disease pneumonia and they are commonly called as virulent and rough colony they do not cause disease, means they are not pathogenic and they are called as non violent Okay, see, virulent, they are called disease causing pneumonia and they are generally having a smooth surface and they are called a smooth colony or yes strain. And non virulent, they do not cause any disease, they are not at all a pathogen because their uh, external surface is very rough and that is why they are called as R strain. Then, what he did is, here you see once again, here the experiment you see, in his experiment, in his experiment, Frederick Griffith, Frederick Griffith, what he did is, here see, in the first instance, yes strain, yes strain, injected, yes strain, injected, to mice, yes, strain injected to mice, and mice die. Injected to mice, and mice die. Mice cycle. Why the mice die? So, because the mice die due to what? The disease. Disease from the pneumonia, disease from the cycle. This is the first case. And the second case, here, what he did is, second case, R strain, R strain injected to mice and mice alive did not die. Mice did not die. So, because R strain is a not a uh, disease causing and they are called a non violent and because of this, uh, there is no any difference to the mice and the mice what? The still alive. Mice is still alive and thereafter what he did is thereafter what he did is he did the smooth strain. This is smooth strain heat kill. Smooth strain heat kill. He smooth strain heat mamadi. Although this violent. This violent is a smooth strain and that is smooth strain streptococcus bacteria heat and killed and that is why it is called as Heat killed, heat killed, yes strain, injected to mice and mice alive. Mice what? Alive. When heat body, other kill body, injected, injected, mice still, mice other than mice still, the mice are the rat. Mice means what here? Rat. So heat killed the yes strain injected to the mice and the mice still what? The lack. And then next what he did is fourth one here. Heat killed once again. Heat killed yes strain is mixed with R strain. Remember R strain is alive. R strain is not killed. R strain is alive. And he is a smooth strain is heat killed. And then it is injected to mice and mice killed. Mice die. Why a mice die? 
question. You understand? See, SH train is uh, injected directly mice die, that is because of the pneumonia and the mice die. Then in the second instance, however, it is not a pathogenic, non-virulent and there is no any difference to the mice and mice still lie. Then in the next case, heat killed SH train. So heat killed the SH train one of all. Whatever that virus is there here, or it loses everything of the cell component. It loses everything of the cell component and it also becomes almost dead. So thereby it can't show its activity. And because of this, what here, what when it is injected to the mice, and mice have no any difference, and mice probably lie. Mice are silent, live again. Sec last instance of this, you get heat killed S strain, you know the mix model, and the R strain is mixed. Heat killed S strain is mixed with the R strain and then injected to the mice, and the mice are there. Why you yourself just ask the question? Because when this heat killed S strain containing one important transforming material, understood? Important transforming material, what present in heat is killed S strain was not what totally destroyed. That is why heat killed S strain is not the material either, and that the material is not totally destroyed and that having what property? Transforming property. And because of this region, that what material transformed from S strain to R strain. And as a result, R strain become R strain become S strain. Got it? So the R strain earlier it was about non-pathogenic. And when one particular transforming material that was present in the heat killed, by heat killed is what coming to the R strain. That is the process for the transformation. A transformation process for the R strain is and because of this, R strain is converted into smooth strain. Got it? R strain is converted into smooth strain and when it becomes smooth strain, so means it is a viral end. Andre Hatta Yenu Kaladre, Idrali Yvanta, the transforming material in the era, or the virus transforming material is what? That virus, that virus in the media from heat kill to R strain is the virus transform of the and because of this reason R strain, R strain become yes smooth and so because of this region here what the what, mice die so means in a culture in a media here some water material that is present in the yes has got transforming property and the one the in the kade transform on the property of the and that is called as what transforming material and the principle is called the transforming principle and Frederick Griffith strongly what known that that transforming material is nothing and that transforming material may be the DNA. See generally the DNA is a virus. DNA is generally no virus and there are two types of virus are the one is a DNA virus and another one is a RNA virus. What is a virus? Virus is a non-living material, non-living material and that has a two important components. One is a protein and another one is a DNA or RNA. You understand? One is a protein, protein is common to both. Protein coat is the See, this is a protein coat and inside there is a DNA present. And this is a DNA virus. And another one is a protein and that contains a single cell RNA and that called as RNA virus. Understood? So that is why generally we say the DNA is a virus. Similarly, and when that entire portion of the RNA, or sorry, entire portion of the virus is a DNA or RNA, understood what I am telling you? The entire portion of the virus is RNA or DNA, so means that having a transforming property. Understood? DNA transform from one region to the another media, uh, another region in the media or in the culture. So that is the property. And what Frederick strongly believed that, strongly believed that DNA having 
transforming character. But however, uh, that time, what that time, uh, what uh, the scientists, uh, they are not uh, ready to accept uh, the Griffith experiment. Frederick Griffith experiment, uh, you know, uh, normally they are ready. Uh, uh, there is no any evidence uh, that, there is no any evidence uh, that uh, uh, DNA only that involved in uh, transforming. Why not it may be the RNA? Why not it may be the protein? Why not it may be the carbohydrate? And some other components are there present in the cell. Again, uh, one, cell uh, one cell means uh, that when containing uh, DNA or RNA or ribosome no, or uh, some other material etc. Any one of these material may be act as a uh, transforming property. Transforming uh, component. Why then you have to say about only the DNA? There is a lot of confusion, a lot of uh, what uh, here uh, the questions are raised by the other uh, what scientists, and for that they have what uh, raised another that is a biochemical, biochemical characteristics, biochemical characteristic of transforming principle, transforming. Biochemical property of uh, characteristic of transforming principle. This was mentioned by many scientists. Was called every, was called every, a, a what then Colin, McCarthy, Maxwell. So many scientists they come what uh, forward and revise the transforming principle of Griffith. Griffith the transforming principle uh, revise one. That can be. They themselves are confused about the Griffith experiment. What Griffith said the DNA having a transforming principle and DNA also acts as a genetic material. But they don't have any witness, they don't have any evidences for that. He got evidences for click of McCarthy, then Oswald Avery, then Colin, and many other scientists. So they come forward and put what they begin to analyze the they begin to analyze the biochemical characteristic feature of the cell. Biochemical characteristic feature of the cell. What cell? There is a bacteria. Streptococcus bacteria. See, this is Streptococcus bacteria, and this is Streptococcus bacteria having a smooth colony or rough colony, and inside there is the what? The DNA material. This is Streptococcus bacteria. What? The biochemical characteristics they started to begin. What they did? They have for this analysis, they use different type of enzymes. Different type of uh, enzymes. See what type of enzyme? See the enzymes like uh, the chitin, chitinase enzyme, chitinase enzyme, then the pectinase enzyme, then the RNA enzyme, then the DNA enzyme. So these are the different enzymes they use because here uh, sorry chitinase. Catinase because see bacteria cell wall may be contained here cellulase or chitin or chitinase you can also add one more enzyme that is the cellulase hemicellulase etc so means here the what the bacteria cell wall that may contain chitinase cellulase pectinase etc and besides this bacteria also may be containing RNA RNA and that may be what RNA is enzyme, then bacteria already continuing. I have shown the diagram is a DNA, DNA. So all these enzymes digest the component. All these enzymes are digest the component. So after what we are analyzing, after what we are creating the chitinase, and this chitinase enzyme, cellulose enzyme, and pectinase enzyme digested the cell wall of the bacteria. Digested the cell wall of the bacteria. Digested the cell wall of the bacteria. Okay, because cell wall is gone. Cell wall is gone, and only remember cell membrane. Then whatever that cell membrane containing carbohydrate, then protein, carbohydrate enzyme, proteinase enzyme, and that enzyme also used to digest the cell membrane. Then in that region, also it may be contain RNA, RNA, and that RNA is also digest the one. Uh, here uh, uh, RNA, but when DNA is also used, DNA, and that time it is not completely destroyed, understood, completely destroyed, and it may 
what what uh, transform the character from the one uh, cell to the another cell so dna what uh, transform the character from the one cell to the what the another cell so means uh, here dna dna is and that also not properly what uh, here control the activity of the what dna dna the complete and control only again so dna what uh, dna is enzyme is that and that not to completely destroy the dna and it, so thereby so dna only remain in the cell in the what is streptococcus cell and that what is shown the transforming principle from the one uh, what is sent to the another cell in the culture media so from this uh, once again it is come to know that even after uh, what uh, using various what uh, enzyme enzyme here transforming principle transforming character was not controlled and from this experiment it is come to know that dna is only the what the material that can transform from the one cell to the another cell in the media so uh, from this experiment colin mccarty and the oswald every finally what approved the uh, what uh, the here uh, uh, griffith experiment and uh, what they have experimentally shown and uh, analytically they have shown uh, that here dna having transforming character and probably uh, it may help in uh, transmission of character from one generation to another generation and what mandel said that the factor mandel said that the factor trait probably that is the same what that dna mandel in another trait athwa character or factor one generation to another in one generation ge hogta irutade ante en helidralva mostly ide irbeku dna ne a dna ge a transforming property ide aa a character you know mandel you know factor anta kartiddu athwa trait anta kartiddu but mandel was not known properly what it is what it was no no not properly known because at that time the microscope electron microscopes were not that much evolved and not also studied properly uh, what uh, the cell structure and other even then he known more about the what genetics and transforming principle well before him them see and uh, so nowadays uh, what uh, running is we know that uh, dna is a genetic material when mark carty then oswald every and many other scientists finally uh, what uh, uh, experimentally shown that uh, the dna is a genetic material and later on many other scientists also what uh, attempted the same experiment to prove the dna is a what genetic material to prove what dna is a genetic material and that is the first uh, one is DNA as genetic material. DNA as genetic material. Uh, this was uh, first time by the Alfred Hershey and Martha Chase. DNA as a genetic material was. first time proposed by first time proposed by alfred harshi and martha chase listen alfred harshi and martha chase uh, generally it is called as a harshi and chase experiment and according to them according to them in the media or culture here dna what transform transform very quickly according to its requirement according to its requirement and so thereby it show its own characteristic feature in a cell see for this experiment what they did is what they did is and they have used here the virus they have used what the virus and particularly this the virus to infect the bacteria some virus they have grown in some virus they have grown in radioactive sulfur radioactive sulfur and some virus they have grown in radioactive phosphor understand as already you studied that see virus means here virus means you know it is a double stranded dna and actually made by what protein and this is dna and here 
the virus used virus used here in this virus what the used is bacteriophages you already studied it bacteriophages and this bacteriophage structure also you know and it is almost a satellite shaped structure already you studied it is in the previous class like this this is t4 bacteriophage t4 bacteriophage is you know understood and here in like this and it is here is a dna and external coat is called as a protein and this is called as a capsomia you know you study same it is what are drawn same dna and protein so protein coat protein coat is the inside the protein coat what is present dna double stranded dna is present now coming back virus means bacterial phase grown in radioactive sulfur radioactive sulfur they have what radioactive protein radioactive protein and the virus which is grown in radioactive phosphor and they have radioactive dna ready up to dna understood why you just imagine bacteriophage which is grown in ready up to sulfur ready up to sulfur and they have a ready up to protein because protein containing sulfur but do not contain phosphor so that is why the virus which is grown in ready up to sulfur and that sulfur ready up to sulfur attached to the protein because protein containing sulfur Similarly, the bacterial phage which is grown in a radioactive phosphor and they have a radioactive DNA because the DNA containing sulfur that is you know nitrogen based contains sugar in the sulfur combined in the form of nucleotide that is already you studied, correct? Now, so they have a radioactive DNA. So means here phosphor what radioactive phosphor that is attached to the radioactive DNA. So these are the two different type of what here bacterial phage he what used. That is what a radioactive protein containing T4 bacteria. T4 bacteria phase, not bacteria. Bacteria phase means what? Bacteria phase means it is a virus. Bacteria phase means it is virus. Virus. So a radioactive protein containing T4 bacteria phase and radioactive DNA containing T4 bacteria phase now allowed to infect. Now allowed to infect the bacteria. Now allowed to infect the bacteria. Ega bacteria ke infection agli ke dhar. Bacteria ke infection agli ke dhar. See here, this is a bacteria, and this is also bacteria. Okay, and then this is ready up to phosphor and this is ready up to sulfur bacterial phase this is what ready up to phosphor bacterial phase and this is what ready up to sulfur bacterial phase now separately allowed to infect separately allowed to in fact understood so radioactive phosphor contain and radioactive sulfur contain what is so in this way when it is allowed to infect the bacterial phase to the bacteria to the bacteria now next what happen and what is the result that all you have to study and that you will study in the next class so what uh, the radioactive sulfur how they enter and uh, then gives uh, the transforming property either the transforming property present in the uh, protein coated uh, uh, what uh, this uh, sulfur or uh, the dna coated uh, phosphor so that we have to what prove and then you really come to know that in this uh, virus the dna having the transforming 